Also tonight, bullying appears to have no boundaries at a Williamsville high school. Jamie Rodemeyer suffered through years of bullying until he took his own life, and now his family is being victimized after his death. Senior correspondent Rich Newberg is here with this story tonight. Rich? Police are now investigating whether Jamie's sister, Alyssa, was targeted for harassment during homecoming at Williamsville North High School. I saw Alyssa crying. I saw several girls crying. Jamie Rotemeyer's sister, Alyssa, had been with her friends during the first night of Williamsville North's homecoming, the first night of her brother's wake, when people say something terrible happened. A few people... Uh said that another girl came over and had uh, made it said some very very hurtful things uh, saying I'm glad uh, I'm glad he's gone all that kind of thing Alyssa told her parents who are now telling the story to national television audiences and then the bullies that put him into this situation started chanting you're better off dead we're glad you're dead and things like that and my daughter came home all upset and they Taught me in the hallways. Investigators say they need hard evidence to lead them to those who may have tormented Jamie and now his sister as well. Possible charges, if the evidence warrants it, could include harassment or aggravated harassment. The aggravated harassment would be um, compute over the computer or over the telephone or maybe a text message. So that would be the uh, difference between what happened as far as aggravated versus harassment. Most of the harassment section is going to be the stuff that happened in person. At Williamsville North, things are not the same, says Yale Freed. People are angry and they uh, people have a lot of emotion at the moment and they're taking it out in various ways.